Hi, it's my first time um, being in your presence. And my having struggle in life has to do with not being able to release something that happened to me when I was six years old, um, involving incest. And um, it's haunting every aspect of my life. And I find glimpses of joy, glimpses of re release from it but I have this unbelievable dependency on people and knowing that they're there, they won't leave me. It's just friends and it's amazing. And some friends invited me here to this cruise. And when I was sitting there, the tears just like the floodgates just flowed and I know I'm in the right place. And I just wanna know how do I let go of that which haunts me and it just consumes me a lot of times. We have some questions for you, easy questions. Do you think that the experience is so vivid and haunting because of the experience in and of itself or because of the way you were made to feel about it later? In other words, is it about what actually happened or about your feeling of unworthiness about what happened? It would be the latter and it would be how I've allowed it to manifest itself in my journey as a sexual person. The reason we ask the question, Esther just returned from her mother's funeral and she saw all kinds of people that she has not seen since she was a teenager, cousins and people that she has not seen in years and years. And it brought back a floodgate of memories to her and she was relating some of those memories to Jerry, things that he had never heard her talk about at all, things that she had actually not even thought about. And she talked about being a very little girl and going over to her cousin's house and getting stuck in a walker. It was an old fashioned kind of contraption and Esther had managed to get in it and then couldn't get out of it. And so she had to waddle into where the adults were to be rescued and they laughed at her and it was an extremely humiliating experience of course they thought she was cute and she thought she was being mocked or laughed at and then jerry said do you think you were actually remembering that experience or were you remembering somebody else's recollection of the experience and as esther thought back she could not separate the difference and she began to realize that so many things in life are like that where you have an experience where you are living it in the moment but then it is the replaying of it that keeps it active in your vibration because anything that you live in any moment is just a moment that would easily be replaced with what you're living in this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment but if in the next moment you are reliving that moment and then in this moment you are reliving that moment and in this moment then you can potentially keep something active and alive within your experience and of course as you move through time and you talk with other people about it then what they think about what happened becomes part of the vibrational mix so now it's not about just what happened it's about what this one thought about it and this one and this one and this one and that's the baggage that you tend to carry with you and until things take on a life of their own and become so much bigger than they ever were in the moment because of the compounded attention to them so what we always say is what happened happened and it doesn't mean diddly squat what matters is the vibrational mix in any moment we also always say to people that the way you stop thinking about something is by thinking about something else but the tricky thing about these things that have such emotional impact is that when you have an experience and you contemplate it and then you contemplate it with emotion again and again and again what happens is a very strong vibrational patterning takes place that really is what a belief is a belief is just a thought that you thought long enough you keep thinking until it is a vibrational pattern that is very easy for you to achieve and a belief is kept alive by other things in your environment that activate it easily so most people are we don't want to use the word victim we want to use most people have the experience of have 
of beliefs being activated within them that no longer serve them there are so many people that have practiced so many thoughts for so long that even though they are far apart from what their inner being thinks they still think them just out of the sheer habit of thinking them so what is required is to think a new thought and we might have said if this were a less volatile issue to you we might have said to you well just find other things to think about and practice thinking them until in time you will replace the old thought with the new thought but when a subject that has such impact has been thought for so long you almost have to take the bull by the horns and start with that thought where it is and just gradually and we mean gradually it might take a month usually not longer and not hard work all day every day just a month of approaching it with a new intention every day of taking that sucker of a thought and dragging it into a less uncomfortable place because if you try to ignore it it just remains over there vibrating where it is and then this in society or that in society or this that you observe or that that you observe activates it within you and brings it back into full life where if you take it and you deliberately cause it to morph into a new place then when society or something that happens acts not from its then place you see we would like to just lay our knowledge over you and bring you to the place of it that we feel about it where it's not more meaningful than what you had for lunch that day and you don't remember that it's not more meaningful than something that happened yesterday in other words it it doesn't matter but for us to know it doesn't matter doesn't matter you have to know it doesn't matter you see it is our expectation that by the end of this gathering in the days that we are together that we will have enough opportunity to talk with enough people about things as we move them along the emotional scale that you will get a very clear understanding of how that is done there are those that would say to you well you have to get into a place of forgiveness and we say ah, ah. <laughs> There are those who would say to you that, that uh, uh, there is something in your vibrational pattern that brought it about to begin with that you need to deal with. And we say everything that happens to everybody falls into that category. So what we hear from you right now, which is where you are now, here you are, this vibrant, brilliant, powerful, perfect, deliberate creator on the brink of creating your life experience and so we want you to ask yourself and of course you already are it's the point of this whole question how can I let this thing that happened so many years ago how can I make it have less impact on what I create today and tomorrow and the easy answer is by letting other things take its place the longer harder sure answer and the path that we really expect that you'll have to take is by moving it to a different place in your vibration just by rethinking it thank you now I want to tell you something your inner being I want to give this to you powerfully well your inner being is telling us that this will be easy for you easier than it feels right now that your belief in suffering while it was vivid and alive for a long time you have begun to leave behind you and that now it's sort of like an addiction that you know you know what addiction is an addiction is introducing something into your system that your body acclimates to and it acclimates it to it so well that then when you don't give it to your body your body craves it and there are thought addictions too that are the same thing it's just the habit of thought is so strong that when you do something to try to release the thought you you almost have a, it, it's almost like it has become more comfortable for it to be there than for it to not be there 
we, without you being in the chair tomorrow, it is our promise to you that we will address this subject so fully that you will have clarity that comes over you. In other words, there will be enough subjects of enough different natures as we will demonstrate moving up the emotional scale that it is our expectation that maybe by the end of tomorrow, this will have resolved itself within you. And we are being told by your inner being that you are not far from this resolution, that the power of your desire is so strong and has been for so long that just a few pieces of understanding coming into place are all that will be necessary. We never promise quick fixes, but this one feels quicker than you think. Thank you very much.